Harry here. Energy focus for the week, changing things up. So much change in the air. Here we are. We're in the release phase of the moon. And this is kind of the focus for the week. It was the last full moon came in this weekend for the winter season. And with this full moon, it just like brought in so much shifting of energy. Now it's the processing. Now it's the releasing. But it's offering you the opportunity to let go, to really figure out what's in your way. What are those old emotions? What have you been dreaming about for the winter? Right now, it is a time that you can be feeling isolated, lonely, tired. You really want to break some patterns. You're ready to open up, but you're just stuck. Winter can be like a big old cocoon wrapping you up, and you don't want to come out from under the covers, right? It feels comfortable, but yet, on the other hand, you're kind of fed up with everything. But it is isolating. It is lonely. And there is a lot of that going on in humanity right now. We have to find ways to let go of the old patterns, notice the emotional body. What is it? What's fueling the mind so that you can release, so that you can shed some layers and start to prepare for the new season ahead. But finding the ability to understand your emotions, we don't want to bypass them and recognize, am I caught in the victim of my own mind or people projecting on me? Is there a lot of comparison energy? There is a lot of that going on in the world right now. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. But take a breath. Notice that energy for you. So the first card here is the seven of fire. So this sometimes can feel like that fire, passion, purpose, energy being projected out. And you can feel isolated, like you're the one that they're projecting at. Or you could feel isolated and pulling yourself out. But Sevens are spiritual number. It is a time to recognize your path, your energy. What does make your vibration different? How can you be okay in your power, your passion to stand for who you are? This is the energy coming forward. We have a lot of Chiron in the cosmos. Chiron is the wounded part of us. And it's asking us to let it go. It's time. Cut the cords, release the pattern, step forward, feeling really empowered. And it is sometimes hard. It is. I know. We have a lot of emotions. We're carrying them. It's sometimes easier, especially in winter, to just stay in the comfort. But really, we know deep inside of us, it isn't really serving. So here we go. Five of water. This is our emotional upset. Water is the emotions, the heart. Five is like when things do start to change. So it is a time to notice what those changes are. And it's to go within. Don't let it distract you so much that it pulls the mind out of proportion. All right, but go within. Notice that you still have a foundation, but perhaps some of these emotions are old energy, ancestral energy. I know I've been working on a lot. I was talking about on the podcast that poor Terry, that bless her heart energy, when she shows up, it's just an old habit. But it is time now to break it. So where is this loneliness or isolation for you starting to be a habit? We do want to let it go. Nine of water, next card. So more emotional energy coming in. But this is like saying, okay, there is more coming in. But how can you release it to make room for it? And nine of water generally is the wish card. So as you're working through your emotions and feeling this energy and releasing out from the winter, what dreams can you now turn your attention into? Don't stay just over here stuck, but open up to the dreams and let your emotions inspire you to come forward. That's how we work out of it. We all feel a little bit isolated right now. So opening up, reaching out, connecting with others is very important. The chariot card. This is about pulling all that energy together, taking all your tools, all your wisdom, all your knowledge Really harnessing the reins as you move forward onto your new spring path. Horsepower, the chariot, your path. Bring it forward. Look, he's got everything he needs. Carrying in the reins. It really is a very powerful card to realign your path. Maybe you've gotten off of it during the winter. It's so easy to get into the old habits, watch TV, drink a little wine at night, and next day and next day and next day. But now it is starting to be that time that we're stretching through. We're opening up. We're bringing the wisdom and the dreams. Now we want to bring them through and into the physical world. That's what we want to do. Maybe you have some resistance. So I thought I would actually tap on resistance to change today. Do a little tapping. I talk about it right in all my work I do. 
Tapping can help you break through, come back to that purpose, come back to that feeling really present in where you are and what you're doing. So if you've never tapped with me, just follow along. I love tapping. It's a big part. I've written a book, Confessions of a Shower Tapper. Find it, check it out. It will help you to empower that purpose, that soul energy deep within you. So take a moment, take a nice deep breath, and just think about what is it? What is the resistance to let go? Maybe perhaps it's just that isolation and loneliness. What is it for you? What are you feeling? Give it a number, one to 10, just a subjective number. And then we start right here. Take a deep breath and then repeat after me. So even though I have some resistance to opening up, to letting go of the winter energies, I choose to love and accept where I am. So even though I have some resistance, I'm feeling all alone, stuck in my comfort zone. I choose to accept where I am. So even though I'm feeling some resistance, holding on to some old energies, kind of stuck, kind of comfortable, but not, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Moving point to point, right at the eyebrows. I'm feeling resistance. Side of the eye, I just want to stay right where I am. I'm so comfortable, but not really. It's time, but I just can't get motivated. I know I need to go outside, change my diet, but I don't want to. I want to stay nice and comfortable and warm inside my little cocoon. But the light is calling. I know I can feel it. So I know I need to do something, but I'm just not sure what. Let go of the resistance, feel the transition. I can do that. I can take one little step forward just by releasing resistance and recognize there is my soul calling me to awaken. We just have to start a little bit right now, a little bit each day to release the resistance, to let go, allowing the cosmic forces, the release of the moon to help me release all this old energy that is stuck. I feel the resistance. I know it's safe on the inside, maybe not so safe on the outside, but it's time. Just a little bit, just a little bit of movement each day as I awaken with all the dreams of winter so that I can find new ways to walk my path. Right here at the collarbone, just take a moment, breathe, notice what's coming up for you. Releasing the resistance day by day, step by step. Coming right here to the karate chop point, I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Take a breath, release some energy, step by step, day by day. I think we have about 21 days till spring. So use those 21 days to let go to find ways to awaken. Open up your aura, notice what you're feeling, the emotions, notice what you're thinking, the mind, notice how your body's feeling, the physical, and notice where your spirit is. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, breathing all the way back down, grounding and centering. My next master class is coming up in March. I'll be opening up my Radiant Light program. The master class is all about the aura of an empath. They're different. Check it out. Have a great week. Let go little by little as you move through this transition to your spirit. Namaste.